Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, I'm gonna be showing you guys one of the best locations that you can go to in Red Dead Online that'll literally give you an unlimited amount of fish that you can sell over and over and over again. This is by far the easiest way to catch fish in Red Dead Online. So I've showed you guys some pretty exotic fishing methods in the past that have to do with finding fish just spawning next to like this farm trough to fish that ended up like beaching themselves on the side of riverbanks that you can just pick up, fish that are attracted to animal carcasses that you put on the shore and they ended up beaching themselves. So we've talked about a lot of these different methods. Well, today I think this one takes the cake as the best overall. So the location we want to head to today is in San Denis. And essentially what you want to look for is the S in San Denis. And we're going to be going to the big mansion to the left of that. So what's special about this mansion is in the back of it, there's actually this sort of pond or like this little fountain, I guess you could say. So normally logic would tell you that swamp fish, freshwater fish, river based fish, would not spawn in this backyard sort of fountain right here. But I don't think logic applies to Red Dead Online because for whatever reason, if you decide to take out your fishing rod and you don't even have to throw your fishing rod into the little uh, pond back here, the little fountain, all you have to do is take it out. If you take your fishing rod out, what you'll notice is you'll start to see ripples in the water. And once you do that, that means that fish have started to spawn. Now I know what you guys are saying, Mr. Boss, how are you supposed to get the fish out of the water and is this faster than fishing a normal way? Well, for whatever reason, you can just shoot the fish in the water and they will not be damaged. So every other time I've done this, where if you see fish in like a river or a lake, and you shoot them, you're going to get a one star poor version of that fish, which is going to sell for a fraction of the amount at the butcher. And that's clearly what we don't want to have happen. We wanna get the perfect fish so that we can sell it for the maximum amount. However, I noticed that just upon shooting these fish, you would still preserve their perfect three star nature. Uh, I was using the varmint rifle. I don't know if that makes a difference, if there's any other weapon. I was using it because it was the quickest to shoot, and also I had a lot of ammo for it, and it's the cheapest ammo, so if I missed, it wasn't that big of a deal. So as you guys can see here, once the fish spawn, I just simply hop into the fountain, and then I end up shooting the fish that I want. Now, there's a lot of satchel fish here that you can just simply, once you shoot, pick them up out of the water and put them in your satchel. There was bluegill, there was catfish, there was smallmouth bass. There was a lot of different type of fish in here. All of those can go in your satchel. However, you also might have noticed that I'm catching some of the big boys, the lake sturgeons, which sell for $7.25 each. Now for this type of fish, you obviously need to shoot it like you do all the others. This time you're gonna need to pick it up and carry it. Now this is gonna be a little bit tricky because you can't jump while you're holding a fish and the game does not allow you to drop it over an edge. So essentially what you have to do is when you have the fish in your hand, you wanna to walk towards a ledge so that you can drop it using square for me on PlayStation and you wanna try and drop it right as you're hitting the ledge. It's a little bit difficult to explain, but if you do this correctly, you'll drop the fish over the edge of the fountain, which will allow you to eventually collect them and you can either put them on the back of your horse or sell them one by one. We'll actually be talking about a method that you can use for something like this a little bit later. So I am stunned at how effective this is. And because this is a glitch, I can almost guarantee you that Rockstar at some point in time will probably fix this. In fact, earlier today, they announced that there was going to be a lot new updates for 2019. They sort of outlined some of the things that they were gonna be working on and talking about in that Newswire post. So I would imagine that when they add those changes to the game, they will fix little bugs and glitches like this. So I would recommend taking advantage of this as early and often as you can. So let's talk about the type of fish that I was able to get out of this pond. So let's start with the big boy there, the Lake Sturgeon. Those in perfect condition sell for $7.25 each. Now that is the only fish in this fountain 
that is big enough where you have to put it on the back of your horse. I'll explain what you can do in a little bit. Uh, after that, we found smallmouth bass, which sell for $2 each. That's pretty good. Not the best of the satchel fish, which is the sockeye salmon and the steelhead trout, but still pretty good. We found the bluegill, which sell for 75 cents each, the peckerels, which sell for a dollar each, and the bullhead catfish, which sell for 75 cents each. And again, you do not want to have these in poor condition because their values get cut by like a fraction. Like you don't want that at all. So let's talk about the big fish, the sturgeon on the back. What should you do? Because there's clearly a lot in this fountain, but it's inefficient to only put one of them on your horse at a time. Now you can do that and you can go to the butcher and you might be perfectly happy with that. But honestly, my recommendation here is to either do this with a group of other players so that you guys can all benefit because there's only so many you can take at a time. Or what you need to do is you need to find yourself one of the carts around Saint Denis and you can actually use this to carry multiple fish at a time. Now, this really all depends on A, if you can find the right cart, and B, if you're willing to make this work, because it was a little bit tricky for me. I am not the best, certainly, using a, a cart like this. And honestly, I can almost guarantee you that later down the line, Rockstar will add like official wagons that we can attach to our own horses that are specifically made for carrying bigger carcasses and big fish like this. But for now, since there's nothing like this in the game, you'll have to find one off of the street. And if you do that, just simply back it up to the fountain. And every time you catch yourself a uh, one of these fish, you can just simply put it in the back of the horse carriage that you have. And that's a great way to transport multiple of these to the butcher. Now, as I just mentioned, I did not have a ton of luck with that little horse cart thing. And as you guys can see here, I have a ton of leftover lake sturgeon. So it kind of begs the question, what am I gonna do with this? Well, don't walk away and feel like you can just grab one fish, come back for another. As you guys can see here, they despawn very quickly. Like even leaving the front gate of the property caused those fish to despawn. So that's why I'm saying it's in your best interest to either use one of those uh, horse wagons or have multiple people that you can use to do this. Now, another thing you can do if you'd like to be a uh, fish benefactor is just simply give them away. And that's exactly what I did on my second run. You guys can probably see like my blue microphone icon moving on the screen. That's because I'm literally announcing to the people in this lobby like, hey, I've got way too many lake sturgeons. Uh, if anyone wants to come take them, come grab them. And that's exactly what happened. And it turned into this really wholesome moment of players just sort of grabbing the fish from this fountain until it didn't turn wholesome and some players got greedy and ended up wanting to take all the fish for themselves. So I at least tried to do something productive and fun for the uh, Red Dead online lobby. But needless to say, this location that you can go to in San Denis is something you need to take advantage of. It is way faster than just normally catching fish if you are on a riverbank or a lake. Not only are you going to get these small satchel fish that you can just put in your satchel and sell whenever or when you get a maximum of 10 of each, but the fact that you can also get those big boy fish that sell for an even greater amount, this is an insanely easy way to make money. So this would be my suggestion. What you should do is wait till you fill up all 10 of the satchel fish. So you get 10 of the smallmouth bass, 10 of the uh, bullhead catfish, 10 of the bluegill, 10 of the peckerel. And then what you should do is grab yourself a lake sturgeon, put it on the back of your horse, and then grab yourself a lake sturgeon for yourself to carry if you don't want to use the carts. And then from there, just head on over to the butcher, sell everything you have in your satchel, which is probably gonna be upwards of like $100, and then sell those at a minimum two fish that you have, which is gonna be an extra $14. So basically every trip, it's going to be 100 plus dollars that you can make just by fishing in this fountain in Sandity. I'm telling you, this is so easy, and it was actually a lot of fun. So I would definitely recommend checking this out for yourself. Remember, if you are hunting the fish, be sure to either use a bow or a varmint rifle. Um, you don't want to use anything like a revolver. I think that's what causes the fish to ultimately get poor conditioning. So that's all the information I've got for you guys in this video today, though. I thought this was incredibly useful, and uh, if this is something you want to try for yourself, I definitely 
recommend it. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. That'd be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.